Hey everyone, this is a companion piece to my Castle Rock series where I analyze the teaser for the upcoming episode. So if you don't want to be spoiled, click away, and if you haven't seen it yet, check out my link in the description below and make sure to come back. Episode 8 is called Past Perfect, and the first shot is of Gordon, who we met as the new owner of Dale Lacey's home in Episode 4. His wife looks on in shock, and you can make out what looks like a painting of the kid in the background, which would corroborate my theory that there are paintings in that locked portion of the Lacey home. A new cop character we haven't seen yet tells Henry maybe he'll think twice before springing a lunatic from prison. She's a fairly well-known actress, so we may see her for the next few episodes. We then see Wendell watching a body being taken away, likely Alan Pangborn, who we saw shot in the last episode. Here, Henry looks at more pictures of the kid. This one looks eerily similar to what he saw in the anechoic chamber. This is Lacey's former home, and it looks like Gordon has covered the entirety of it in these paintings. Super creepy. Young Henry hears the skiz while the kid asks, do you hear it? Finally. Likely referring to adult Henry finally being able to hear it. Gordon whacks a dude in the face with a book. Perhaps this incident is what got him fired from his university professor job. A gun gets pulled on Henry, and Gordon attacks what seems to be Henry. The teaser ends with the kid being reunited with Molly, and her asking him, what are you doing here? This likely occurring the night of the Pangborn incident. This looks like a crazy episode where we delve a little more into Gordon and the secrets Dale Lacey has been hiding. I hope you'll subscribe for my full breakdown on episode 8 coming out this Thursday. See you then.